Hi everyone, welcome to Random Recess. My name is Abed and Chris, my husband, is behind the camera. And welcome to a special edition of Random Recess. This is not the typical type of content you normally find on our channel. So we wanna address that up front. Normally Chris and I document our vacation time or what we like to call recess time. This is gonna be very different because we're documenting a different type of journey, a weight loss journey. I wanna be clear, this was my decision to document. It is a very personal journey. And if you're seeing it, that means as the editor, it came together and I decided to upload it, but I've had the full support of Chris. This is our channel. We are husband and husband. We vlog together and he's been so supportive throughout this experience. I even asked him if he would join and add his perspective as the support for me throughout this process that may help those out there that are in a supportive role for someone that they love going through this journey. So I want to be very clear that this is my choice my decision, everything about this, but he's so amazing. Normally we kick off our vlogs a certain way, but we're gonna bypass that, get it? All right, you guys, so sorry for that horrible dad joke Abed just made, but we like to use humor here on our channel and you're gonna get some jokes from us through this vlog, even though it's a serious topic. We're gonna try to keep it as lighthearted as we can because we like to have fun, but we're also gonna be serious in this vlog a little bit as well because it's a serious issue. All right, Chris, that was a great joke, but you're right. We do like to keep things lighthearted, but this is also very serious. This is something that has been on my mind. It's been something I've been interested in for a long time. This journey is not easy for me. And for those that have been through this, you guys already know. This is something that Abed's been wanting for a really, really long time. He's consulted with his doctors, his team of medical professionals, to make sure that this is the right decision for him and his health moving forward. He's put in the work. I'm super proud of him. I know that he's super excited to finally get to this point and we're excited to take you along with us. All right, without further ado, this is my journey through weight loss surgery and it starts now. All right, we're on day one of the liver reduction diet. So currently on the liver reduction diet, which is part of the pre-op, I'm about a week out. My surgery is on February 20th. It's not quite the 13th, but I'm starting a little early only because I wanna make sure that I'm at my goal weight uh, on the 15th, which is when my next appointment is. I don't have any milk, skim milk, so we're gonna use water, which is fine. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to learn this stuff. So four to six ounces of water. I'm, I think I'll just, I just I, eyeball it. I think I put too much, but well, it's fine. Look, it's the first one. I've never been, <laughs> surprise y'all. Abed's never been a gym bro or gym rat or whatever it's called. Like I, protein shakes and shakers and all this, it is new to me. I mean, normally I'll do like the pre-made stuff. So I don't know, I'm giving this a shot. Right? And you have to drink these shakes every day. So he's got to drink four of these a day until two days prior to surgery. And then it's, um, yeah. Then it's clear liquids only from that point on. So for the next five days or so, that's gonna be a shaker boy. Shake, shake. I'll just think of it like I'm still on the icon from the seas. Yeah. It's a cocktail. Okay. <sighs> oh. All right, well. I'm sure it's good. At least it's and strawberry people, color. And if people are curious about the flavor, we're starting with strawberry. That's a lot of powder. <laughs> and as you can see over there, there's three more. So we're all powdered up. We're uh, we're powdered up. We're ready to go. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I don't know. I'm nervous, but I mean, yeah. it's probably gonna taste not great, but actually, it smells really good. Okay. This is by by the way, this is not an endorsement of this product. Oh yeah, I could do that. Okay. So it's not mm. bad. I think I could do this. The water base actually isn't that bad, which is really only supposed to be like two days before surgery and two days after. But, uh, all right. Yeah. Well, successful day one, shake one. Here Cheers. we go. One of four. Cheers, guys. All right, Abed, we're in the doctor's office waiting. You feel like a little kid sitting on that table? Uh, I do, yeah. <laughs> Comment down below who remembers these tables with the, the paper on them? Every doctor's office, right? Right. But we got our pre-op and post-op instructions. How do you feel? Yeah, I got everything that we need right now. So just waiting on the doctor, get some final results uh, on my pre-op testing. I met the weight, so that's good. I'm uh, really excited. All right. Okay. Ugh. 
it's the night before and yeah i just wanted to get my thoughts together before going in tomorrow in the end i've struggled so much with my weight i've struggled with it for so long i think i started dieting like even in middle school like just restrictive diets i was always a big kid i've tried everything under the sun you name the diet i've been on it counting carbs counting points only me no me you name it it was just i've tried it and the funny thing is they all work for a brief period of time i've had success and then i wouldn't and then i'd gain it back and so i've been thinking a lot because at this point this is this is the only time i can turn around like if i if i don't think i can handle it I had some people ask me they've asked me a bed during pre-op like you lost, you went from like about 370 down to, I'm now 310 pounds. Why don't you just continue that? Why don't you just continue that without having to go to surgery? Honestly, the truth is I know myself and I know that this is for my long-term health, the better play. I'm type two diabetic. And with the surgery that I'm doing, I'm, I'm getting the duodenal switch. It has a high chance a high likelihood of me going into remission, my type two diabetes going into remission. And I've really struggled even to find medication. I'm, I was on Ozempic and there were shortages and just, I kind of just had to take an assessment of my life. Like, is this what I want? Do I want to be 400 pounds and struggling to fit on airplanes? I cried a little bit. I try not to cry now. All right, I know I can get through it. I, w I really want to say what I want to say. Anyway, not trying to be dramatic or anything, but um, oh, fuck. I'm almost 40 and I'm an uncle for the first time. My life is good. I'm very fortunate. I work hard. My husband works hard. In the end, I want to be around. I want to be around to see my nephew graduate high school. And I just, I don't know. For the last few years, I didn't think that I would, I was struggling so much. So my situation may be different than your situation, right? So if you're watching this thinking, oh, I have insurance, maybe I can get approved. You might be able to get approved, but I'll share with you my experience, but this is just a bed's experience. Typically your BMI, I believe has to be over 50 or you have some sort of chronic condition. For me being diabetic, I was told I had to pass through various sort of checkpoints along the way to make sure that I'm a good fit for the surgery both mentally and physically. I had to have a psych evaluation. Once you're cleared by psych, you move on. I had a heart stress test. I had to have an ultrasound of my stomach and in the surrounding organs. I had to have an endoscopy. You have to have blood work, a sleep study. And then I had to have 12 visits with a dietitian, along with, I went to a support group meeting, which is mandatory. So between the support group and 12 visits with a dietitian, that's 13 appointments. It's not something that's gonna happen overnight. So this idea that you're just gonna go in for a consultation and walk out with a surgery date, not gonna happen. All right, you guys, we finally made it. It is the night before Abed's big surgery. It has not been an easy road to get to this point by any means, and I'm so, so proud of him. Yeah, I've, I've definitely broken down a couple times today just because I don't want him to be worried. I don't want him to be nervous or scared about this operation. I know he's in really good hands with his surgical team. We're gonna have to figure out a way to navigate those waters together. And we're still gonna go traveling. We're still gonna go to theme parks. We're still gonna go cruising. It's just gonna look a little bit different. And, and that's okay. And I think coming to that realization has made him feel a little bit better that, yeah, we're gonna have to change the way that we do things. And that's okay. As a bed support system, as his husband, I understand that this is also going to affect the way that I live my life. And, you know, I'm ready to take on that challenge. I'll do whatever I have to do to support a bed in this journey to make sure that his life is as unchanged as it can be. I'm ready to take this journey with you. Uh, I love you. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Uh oh, Ooh, it's Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Good morning. Morning. It's surgery day. Oh. All right, it's like 4.30. That's when we set our alarms, so. Oh. You gotta get up. Okay, I'm up. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right, 
the last weigh-in, and then we're off to yeah. see the wizard. Yeah, so last weigh-in, I'll get weighed at the doctor's office, but I've been using my scale, and so I just want to make sure that I get like my scale documented, just for my purposes. All right. Looks like 310. 310's what I've been. Looks like I've kind of stalled at 310, which isn't bad. All right, that's wild. Uh, I just wanted to point out one thing. When we were at the surgeon's office for the last pre-op check-in, um, I believe it was last week, Abed's doctor actually was like, yeah, by surgery day, you should be around 310. You should probably be about 310 pounds. He hit the nail right on the head. It's almost as if he knows what he's doing, right? That's crazy, guys. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to leave. And comment down below, does anybody else pack like you're going on a camping trip when you go to a hospital? Not too, too much stuff, but we are only going to be there for one night. So <laughs> better safe than sorry, I guess, right? surgery paperwork right i really thought of huh. that's a yeah. hipaa violation I thought we, yeah. <laughs> you can't see this all right y'all made it to the waiting room time to change <laughs> the most sad fit check ever <laughs> all right we'll be back all right time for your sexy fit check okay ow I'm not gonna turn around because don't turn around because it's open to the back y'all yeah but anyway. all right he's gowned up yeah. all right the bed's all shaved it down <laughs> so I trimmed. And look, I'm Arab. I'm very hairy. I trimmed. It was like a forest. I thought I did a good job, but they had to trim even further. Should have just gotten a Brazilian. Yeah, now you're bald like a baby on your stomach. But yeah, he's ready. They're going to come hook him up to the IV pretty soon. And then he's off to surgery. Look, they like put his compression stuff on. He's, uh, he's suited and booted. He's ready to go. All right, your boy's about to go back. He got his IV. He... Had a little bit of a reaction to the IV, but he's good now. I think it's pretty common to feel nauseous, but you know, I was nauseated. But you know, they've taken great care of me, got some air, got a washcloth. I, I was getting really hot, but thank you for getting my best side, Chris. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Any side's your best side. <laughs> I love you. Love you more. You got this. Don't be nervous. You're just gonna take a little nap. And you'll be, honestly, you're going to close your eyes and wake up in the recovery room. See y'all on the other side. There we go. Guys, so Abed is back in surgery. Um, just got a call from the OR nurse. He's stable and the surgery is underway. Comment down below. Does anybody else just become a ball of nerves when a loved one is in surgery? <sighs> Fingers crossed. Not too much longer to go. And I can't wait till it's over. All right, we're here in Abed's room, and there's the man of the hour. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Oh, my throat is sore, but that's to be expected. Some gas buildup, but obviously we'll, sh we'll talk more about it later, but... Yeah, save your voice. I know your, your throat is sore, but you were able to get up and walk around to use the restroom already. Like, that's really good. You're mobile, yeah. so that's a plus, but... One night in the hospital, and then you're you're out of here tomorrow. We'll break you out tomorrow. But that's how you're doing. You look good. Doctor said it was a, a a really really good surgery, and you did great. So proud of you. Thanks. All right. Fast forward to tomorrow when we're getting you out of here. Good morning. Oh my goodness. I slept okay. Got up like every two hours. I'm uh, at this point. I'm drinking a little bit of water. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. They brought me water to try yesterday, but I'm thirsty, so I'm just having like 30 milliliters. Uh, just, you know, honestly, every like two hours. Yeah, I feel okay. I feel sore. The biggest thing is it feels like I just had a really epic ab workout. And so my stomach is really sore and um, a little bit of pain in my shoulders. Chris is on his way. He went home for a little bit and is coming back, so can't wait to see him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look Hi. what the cat dragged in. Huh? <laughs> How are we feeling this morning? Uh, sore. It's just like massive ab workout. Aww. And for some reason, they still have this stuff on my leg, the, the well, pressing you, stuff, but yeah, they didn't you use keep that on. 
Yeah, but they're not even using it. Well, I have all the diodes on my chest and stuff, but they didn't use those last night. We're not trekking anything. I think you're fine, honestly. I want to go home. <laughs> well, you're going to go home today. All right. It's time for you to get up and walk around. Let's break up some of that gas. Here. Oh, yep, I got you. Okay. Oh. Here, use me. Oh. Not booning anybody, am I? All right, we're just out for our little morning stroll in the hospital. Yeah, just really trying to break up the gas. Yeah. It's very painful. Break it up. All right, he's he's pacing. There's the one thing Chris knows I'm good at. Pacing. Lightning McQueen who? Look at you go. ka -chow. No, but really, getting up and walking around, the doctor said that was good to release the gas that builds up. Oh, my voice. Your voice, yeah. Don't don't strain it. That's, that's the voice of someone who can't really drink water right now. He gets to go home today, I think. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I but mean, I want to go home. Yeah, nobody likes staying in the hospital. I can walk around the house, and sit in my chair. Play your video games. Yeah. All right, so we just met with the surgeon and looks like a bed's gonna be released today by 1 p.m., which is great. That is awesome news. He'll get to spend the night at home tonight. Props to him. He lost a ton of weight before the surgery and the doctor actually said that made the surgery so, so much easier and will help his recovery as well. So super proud of a bed, way to go. I know we still have a long road ahead of us, uh, but you know what? We're past, I think we're over the hump. And now it's just all about maintaining your diet. But I decided to start, I was 370, got down to 310, and now the surgery, you know, I guess we're gonna see how far we go. Um, goal weight is around 180, 175 based off my height. But my goal is really to put diabetes in remission. It will never be cured, but I'm on the right track. 60 pounds, are you kidding me? That's crazy. Even the doctor and his uh, assistant were like, shocked at how much weight a bed had lost coming into the surgery and they said that's really not typical to see patients lose that much extra weight before surgery and that just made it so much easier so that's a testament to a bed's dedication and hard work guys just to give you some perspective that's the water cup that a bed's drinking out of 30 milliliters you can really only drink about one of those at a time and he has to sip it and then he gets full so that should tell you how small his stomach is right now but at least he gets to drink water. All right, he's making a break for it. <laughs> so, yeah, they asked me if I wanted a wheelchair, if I was going to walk. I'm feeling pretty strong right now. Like I'm still a weak, but I wanted to see if I could do it. So far, so good. And like an hour early, too. So Right? That's good. Bonus. All right. Uber for Abed? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it took me eight years to unlock this bar. It's okay. The roles are reversed. Normally it's me driving, but right now it's Chris. Yay, my favorite. I'm just kidding. I don't mind driving. We'll see, we'll see if my road rage can remain intact today. I'm sure it will. I'm finally getting to go home. This feels amazing. Look who's back. Back at home. He is back. Yeah, so far so good. My family's coming to visit. So that'll be good. I need to take my vitamins. Gotta be a good boy. And thank you to everyone who sent well wishes to a bed, checked in on him, um, sent a text or called, uh, Instagram messages, all of those things. They definitely meant a lot. And yeah, thanks. It's nice to know that there's so many caring, loving people out in the world. The next morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> all right, first day post being home. How was sleep last night on your own bed finally? Oh my gosh. There's nothing like, look, the hospital was comfortable, as comfortable as a hospital can be. Oh, sorry. But um, the bed at home is just amazing. Today's goal was really to continue to move around, get some exercise, get my protein in, 80 to 100 grams, and more than anything, figure out like how much in terms of fluids I can handle. I'm not gonna chug this, I'm gonna probably drink like one or two ounces at a time until I reach my max. Because essentially I've had, I had the gastric sleeve and then the duodenal switch, uh, which is part of like essentially a gastric bypass. Uh, so I still have a stomach, it's just been reduced. And then they kind of moved where the stomach goes into the intestine. They moved it a little down, downstream. 
uh, and that results in malabsorption, which is good for someone like me who's a diabetic because it could put my diabetes into remission. The issue, with, the issue with that is that everything that I consume, I won't be able to absorb as many nutrients, um, which is what happens in the intestines. So I do have to have fat soluble uh, vitamins. All right, so, uh, we're done talking because your voice is starting to go. <laughs> so yeah. we'll let you rest your voice, but all right, we'll check in in a little bit. One week later. All right, y'all, good morning. It has been a week. I can't believe that my surgery was just one week ago. I'm feeling really good. I'm so thankful that I can work from home the next few weeks. All right, so I'm only doing weigh-ins at the doctor's office and then every week. It's for my mental health. I don't think it's a good idea to weigh yourself every day. All right, so it's been two weeks since I started a liquid diet. It's been a week since surgery. I went from 322 at the start of the liquid diet, 310 the day of surgery, and drum roll please, 303. I woke up today, I am 303 pounds. That's one pound per day loss. I don't know what to expect, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if that'll continue. When will I stall? Guys, he's been doing amazing. His discipline and control is absolutely phenomenal. I don't know how I would do in this situation, but Abed is absolutely killing it, so. Drop a like, leave a comment, encourage him. He's doing amazing. I'm so proud of him. Ooh. Okay, too hot. Too hot. Too hot. All right, all right. Some of them. Ooh, look who's a chef in the kitchen. I'm down quite a bit. I'm fitting into this in and out shirt. Look how cool this in and out shirt is. I bought this in Las Vegas. Must have been, I don't know, like, almost 10 years ago, maybe more. And I just can never fit. You know how some shirts are like your size, but then they don't fit and it's just really confusing. But anyway, I'm doing healthy request chicken noodle soup. And I can have this, I can have really any soup as long as it's strained, like any, just no chunks right now. The biggest thing about the liquid phase is that it's just so boring, but that's okay. March 14th, I think is the date where I move on to puree foods. The lunch of champions. Don't let anybody tell you that this is easy. This is uh, this is hard. This is hard just to watch. <laughs> Three weeks is a long time to not have any food. Comment down below, what should Abed's first meal be when he gets to real food? He won't be able to eat a lot, but kind of wondering what he wants to eat for his first real food meal. Here he comes. What is this, lap number two? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do, comment down below, do any of you have partners out there when they get like bored or kind of anxious, they just pace? Abed is definitely a pacer. He, this is how I know he's bored because he's just walking around the house. So. Take me somewhere then. <laughs> All right, well, I do need to run an errand and where else do you go when you're bored and you just want to walk around? All right, y'all, when you live in the burbs, where else do you go on a Saturday to kill some time? A bit. Target! All right, here he comes. He's a little slow, but you know what? He builds his momentum. <laughs> what are you saying? Nothing. Let's this go inside. Is, this is my speed, y'all. Is he saying I'm slow? <laughs> That's okay. He's deliberate. Don't have a lot of energy, but it's gonna come back. Also, it's Saturday anyway. Who's in a rush? We're in the lamps. Do we need a new lamp? Oh, what'd you find? I a jellyfish lamp. Mini neon lamp or hexagon tiles. Oh, the tiles are cute. Should we do it? That'd be cute. How much are they? It doesn't matter. All right. This is our day. Throw it in. Look at all these lamps. That's why I love Target. First, toss me the lamp. Then you will have your reward. Then you shall have your reward. Did I, I get the movie line right? Yeah. I don't see any of those types of lamps, but well, we'll keep looking. Do you want pillows? I don't know. I love all of it, and I. I don't know if we need any of this stuff, but I kind of want it. There's some fake plants that I almost bought. Who knows what I'm going to walk out of here with. No one needs anything from Target. So this is how they stay in business. He's got something in his hands. I know this is like Chip and Joanna Gaines. I don't know how everyone feels about them, but this is so cute for our coffee table. It's like yeah. a metal tic-tac-toe set. We don't have anything on our coffee table, so I think that'd be cool. Okay. Throw it in. Right. We can get whatever we want. I also don't know how much it costs because there's not Put a Put it in. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to keep shopping and we'll show you our Target haul at the end, but this is going to be a while. 
All right, we are back from Target. And no, Abed does not have sunglasses on inside. His lenses are transition lenses and they just haven't turned back yet. Yeah. <laughs> the tic-tac-toe that we talked about. I had to get that. It's just, oh my God. Shit. <laughs> and that's glass. Okay, let's move that. Little tiny mason jars, these are four ounces. So the idea is I can meal prep, there's 12 of these. And they're really cute, it's perfect size, right? In a few weeks, I will transition to puree stage. I know, super exciting. I know it's only two weeks, but even afterwards I can use this. Look how cool this is. It's definitely more compact. It's the Ninja Blast Portable Blender. Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done any sort of like video journal or anything about this, but I uh, just wanted to touch base now that I've come back from the doctor's office and just kind of talk about just real quick, kind of what I've been going through. This has not been an easy process. It's been as smooth as it can be. I received a lot of education. I have a lot of support. I have a long road ahead of me. It's not something that's gonna be really easy. I have a couple more weeks left until I move into the puree stage. I'm only in puree for two weeks, which I'm very thankful. Then I move into soft foods for four weeks. So if you're keeping tabs, that's four weeks on full liquids. That's the week prior to surgery and three weeks after. Then I go to puree for two weeks and then another four weeks of soft food. Anyone that says this is the easy way out is really misinformed. This is difficult. Like you have to change your lifestyle. It forces you, it's a tool. All right, I'll make sure to continue to watch the rest of this vlog. We are gonna have longer time jumps. All of that will be on the screen just to kind of check in at different points. I'm really excited. Can't wait to continue to document this journey and to look back at this one day and say, wow, I can't believe that I went through that. All right, y'all, today's the day. Puree day, yay! I am done with the liquid diet. I am so happy. All right, y'all, three weeks post-surgery. Some of you might be wondering, what is my weight? What's the total weight loss? So. As of this morning, first day of puree, I'm 288 pounds. That's 22 pounds down from surgery. If y'all have been watching our channel, we just got off Icon of the Seas and I weigh 322 pounds just for perspective. So I feel great, almost 100 pounds down. Y'all, my clothes are fitting better. You know, even when I turn to the side, like things hang well. This may be TMI, this entire video may be TMI, but I started out at a 4XT. And I needed that extra length because my stomach hung lower and, and kind of past my belt. I use my clothes as an indicator on my progress. I try to only weigh myself on sort of those milestones or anniversaries. You guys, you don't know how much this means to me. To be in the puree phase, it's only two weeks, which makes me happy. But I'm excited. I'm going to make the baked ricotta florentine. And let's look at all the ingredients. We've got ricotta cheese, who doesn't like that? Mozzarella, spinach. I'm substituting the tomatoes for marinara sauce. I'm adding some protein powder, we'll talk about that. And Parmesan cheese. This recipe is really easy. It's very popular. You can see variations of this all over the internet. I'm gonna zhuzh it up, make it my own, but for the most part, sticking to the recipe. It's as simple as eight ounces, so each of these is four ounces of ricotta. So you got your ricotta cheese, you add your mozzarella cheese, your Parmesan cheese, your spinach. So based on the recipe, it came out to 11 grams of protein per serving, and that's at four ounces per serving. The problem with that is I have limited space, so I'm gonna add some unflavored protein powder. This will extend it by an additional five grams. This is gonna be about 16 grams of protein per serving. It actually does smell pretty good. All right, so adding a little bit, about a spoonful each of some tomato. This is marinara sauce. This is canned marinara sauce. Okay, so the recipe says I can add cheese to the top of each. I'm not gonna add that much. For those of you that are curious, it is fat-free mozzarella and it's low-fat ricotta. It smells like lasagna. So imagine lasagna without the noodles, especially with the addition of the marinara sauce. Oh my, that smells amazing. Ask me in a few months when I'm back to regular food, like, do I still feel the same way? But after coming off liquids, I mean, protein shakes and jello. I, I love jello, but I cannot look at jello the same again. It tastes like lasagna without the pasta, without the noodles, 
So if you are looking for like a low carb, high protein option, we'll see how much I can finish of it, but I'm happy. I'm happy. No more shakes. Well, not no more, but less. All right, Abed made that look really good. I wanted to see if he's just exaggerating because he hasn't had actual food for th like four weeks or if it really is good. So I'm gonna try it. This is gonna be the opinion of someone who has been able to eat normal food this whole time. Okay, that is really good. It needs some salt. I know Abed was a little, uh, I know Abed was a little timid with the spices just because like he didn't know what his, his tummy could handle. But if you judge that up a little bit with some like Italian seasonings, I'm not even missing the meat. Like you get a ton of protein in there. It is super easy to prepare, really quick in the oven. So yeah, if you're looking for a lower calorie, higher protein, lower carb option, that's really, really good. And it, the ricotta and the mozzarella and the tomato sauce all work really, really well together with the spinach. Yeah, you know what? As far as a puree goes, which I've never really had before, I'll have to give that a four out of five for someone who has just been able to eat normal. That's actually pretty good. So I can only imagine for someone who's been on like all liquids for the last four weeks, what that tastes like. No wonder it got a five out of five, but Solid recipe, guys. Try it out if you're looking for something. Or if you're in the puree stage and you're looking for a good recipe. And I'll put the recipe in the description below. Um, it really is good. I don't know. Again, ask me in a few months. It's breakfast time. Breakfast time. It's been six weeks since I've really been able to eat anything resembling food. And I'm excited. Do a twirl for us. Ah. Yeah. Looking good. good. Looking good. So today I weighed in at 280 pounds. Yay! I'm feeling really good. My blood sugar is like normalized. I won't know for another few weeks because I'm going to see my endocrinologist. So let's hope that it'll be in remission. But for now, I'm feeling great, sleeping well. So I went to Costco and I got these Starbucks sous vide egg whites or egg bites. And the cool thing is it's 17 grams per two pieces. So each serving is two pieces. And it doesn't look like much. They don't necessarily look great, but they smell really good. So, All right, first bite of actual food. Bite. Okay, that's too big of a bite. Um, it is soft, so it'll essentially turn to mush, but you could almost call this puree stage because that's how soft this is. But chewing feels good the mouthfeel the bacon oh my god tasting bacon right now 17 grams of protein for for this serving of two i should be able to eat all of it i think it's about four ounces cheers y'all this is five out of five i am so happy right now all right where are we abed all right we're going to pennies it's one of the few places that i used to be able to shop not a lot of department stores have big and tall uh, i'm not quite sure what I'm gonna buy, but I'm about to go on a cruise. Depending on when you watch this video, we may have already gone on the cruise, but I need some clothes in the interim to get me through because my clothes are just too baggy. But yeah, let's see if I can find something. I'm not gonna buy too much. I say that now. But... Hey, it's a good problem to have your clothes are too big on you. Yeah, all right, let's see if I can find something. All right, let's go see what they have. All right, you're trying on your first article of clothing. Yeah, I mean, this is a 3X. Um, That's a little large on you. I used to wear shorts, shirts like this. You've probably seen these in many vlogs, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have to try it too. All right, y'all, this is a 2X tee. I used to need the tee, meaning tall, just because my stomach would hang much lower than it is now. But now I don't need that. And I don't know, I'm just trying to figure stuff out. I think just a 2X that would probably come up to like right here, but I like the way this fits. This is just a 2X. I, I don't need the tall anymore, which actually feels really good. Maybe that'll give me more options and I don't have to shop in the big and tall section. Am I bold enough to go to another non-big and tall section? Makes me nervous. Look at that 2X though, it fits you really well. Yeah, no, this feels good. It's not too tight. All right, y'all, this felt amazing. This is one of my first milestones on my weight loss journey. Being able to come in here and find clothes that fit me without major struggle. Thank you, Chris, he was running back and forth as I tried clothes on and he would get me different sizes, but this felt just absolutely amazing. I know I've got a long way to go, but yeah, this was fun. It was a little more expensive than I wanted. I didn't want to spend that much, but you know what? I want to be comfortable. I want to feel good and clothes are going to play a factor in that. 
isn't that always the case you guys when you go shopping you have a budget and then you just find a bunch of stuff that you like and then you end up spending way more than you thought but it's fine abed needed it and i'm so glad that he was able to find clothes that he really enjoys and that fit him uh he's been swimming in those 3x shirts it's nice to see that he's actually gonna have clothes that don't look like a shower curtain on him so all right y'all i just had uh, not so great weigh in, but that's okay. We're gonna talk about it. So I just had a weigh in and I'm seven weeks out and I'm at 282 pounds. I've been 282 pounds now for two weeks going on three and it's it's a stall. Anyone that's been through this process knows what that's like. It can be very frustrating. It happened to coincide with me moving into the soft food stage. So as I started to eat regular foods, and it's hard not to think, is it because I'm eating food again? Probably. And so it's kind of a mental game, but I have to remind myself that I've lost 35% of my excess body weight since surgery. I'm doing really well. My doctors are happy, my dietitians, everyone's happy, I'm happy, but it's hard. You look at that number, I try to only weigh myself once a week and it's easy to get discouraged, but luckily I've got a great support system that's helping me. I'm feeling great, and so I just have to remind myself, and for y'all out there that are going through this, remember that it's just one day at a time, keep following the plan, and everything's gonna be just fine. Okay, I just wanna point out something that Abed just said that he may or may not have realized he said, and it kind of shows the mental game that folks go through when you have a weight loss journey and you're tracking your weight loss and what a mental game it can become. So he just said that he had a bad way in and he's equating his stall to failure, and it's not, right? Like he said, he's lost a ton of weight. You know, back when he was beginning this consultation process, he was about 370, 375, and now he's 282. That's insane. That's almost 90 pounds, over 90 pounds of weight loss since late last year. That's nothing to sneeze at. I mean, since surgery, he's lost 30 pounds. That's crazy. So that's great progress. That's something to keep in mind. Make sure that you're kind of keeping track of your own mental health too, because this can become kind of a stressor if you focus on the wrong things. Those non-scale victories are just as important as the scale victories. So even if you're not seeing weight loss on the scale, maybe your clothes are fitting better. Maybe you're able to sit in chairs that you weren't able to sit in before. Maybe you're just feeling better, right? Those are all victories and you can't minimize those just because you see a stall on the scale. Stalls are perfectly normal. Your body's still recovering. You had major surgery and you're starting to incorporate new things into your diet that you haven't been having for like a month. So, you know, it's perfectly fine. Abed, you're still doing great. Don't get discouraged and just keep on doing what you're supposed to be doing and everything's gonna work out. Oh, hey, Chris here. <laughs> Where are my Avatar The Last Airbender fans at? You guys know Zuko. Anyway, um, final thoughts here from me on this weight loss journey for Abed. I just have to say, I am so, so proud of him. He has done so amazing in sticking to the diet, being so disciplined, and he's just crushing it, you guys. He's lost over 90 pounds so far since he's decided to make this journey a reality. Um, late last year, you know, you saw a starting weight. He was about 370, 375. He's now 282. He's wearing double XL shirts. He's wearing pants and shirts that he hasn't fit in since high school. And I just gotta say, I've noticed uh, just, you know, a pep in his step. He's feeling great. He's feeling encouraged. And I can't wait to see what's in store for him, honestly. He deserves the world and he deserves to be able to do everything that he wants to do in life and feel good about it. And you know what? I can't be prouder of him. And I'm so glad that I've gotten to be his support system throughout this and I'm going to continue to be. And just whatever he needs, of course, I'll be there. But for all of you out there that are deciding whether or not mm, is bariatric surgery right for me? Should I begin my own weight loss journey? You always have a friend in random recess. Drop us a comment, send us a DM. If you have any questions, we're happy to answer. We're an open book. And you know, just know that you're not alone. So many other folks are going through this and having these struggles and you never should feel alone or like you have to do this yourself. So even if you don't have a support system around you, you always have a support system here on this channel. Like I said, I can't wait to see where Abed goes from here. And I couldn't be prouder of him. He's just doing so, so great.
All right, y'all. When we started this video, we said the journey starts now. It was really dramatic. Now we're towards the end of the video of this sort of documentary, uh, documenting my experience through bariatric surgery. And I gotta say a few things. It's been so challenging and rewarding. And just because this particular, you know, documentary is over, doesn't mean that I'm done and that I've reached my goal weight. As you can see, even from my face um, and from the scale, I've lost a considerable amount of weight. It's going to be a day-to-day -day challenge. I have to watch what I eat, be very careful, follow the rules and the, I don't want to call them rules, just follow the plan. I'm going to give myself grace. I have to live my life. I'm going to try sweets. I'm going to have a cookie or at least a bite every now and then. The way I was living my life before was not balanced, which is what got me into this situation to begin with. That got me to over 400 pounds at one point in my life. And I just don't want to go back to that. So I've got to find a healthier relationship with food and religious life in general. Again, to those out there that are struggling, you'll always have friends here at Random Recess. On our channel, we like to document our travels, our recess time, if you will. And typically on this channel, you're not going to find sort of the sort of heavier content, but we hope you found it informative, that you've enjoyed this. We've enjoyed just documenting it. It's been really great for me to go back as I edit and really see things change and evolve. If you wanna to continue to follow my journey and Chris, uh, you can find us on social media at Random Recess. So we're on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, at Random Recess, and also here on YouTube because we're going to continue to document our travels so subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single recess that we do. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Random Recess. We hope you enjoyed following us along on Abed's weight loss journey that he's just now beginning. You're doing such a great job. I'm so proud of you, and I love you very much. Keep up the great work. You're doing awesome. I love you, too. Thank you for all your support. And y'all, until next time, we'll see you on the next recess. Bye.